So did you know that placing weeds in a bucket of water does something quite incredible? So weeds are full of nutrients. Take this nettle, for example. Not only is it a nutritious, free form of food for us humans that I much rather eat over spinach, it is also full of potassium, magnesium, calcium, and other important minerals to add to a compost bin. But as growers, we can enjoy the nutrients of weeds in other ways as well to benefit our gardens. One of those techniques is something called chop and chop. So if you follow permaculture, it is quite a popular one. This is where you gather, say, plant leaves or when you're clearing things out, and instead of putting them on a compost bin, you chop them up and then you put the nutrients directly back around the ground where it was growing. There is another type of chop and drop and it's called chop, move and drop. This is where you're moving material, plant material from outside the garden. There might be a patch of nettles or dock, for example, chopping them up and bringing those nutrients, transporting them into the garden to then mulch and benefit your plants. Not only are you adding nutrients and also creating a protective covering over the soil, it's going to break down into becoming organic matter, which will both help the soil retain moisture during dry weather, but also when you have really wet weather, allow the excess water to drain nice and freely. Traditionally, when we think of nettles or dandelions or thistles, we think of them as weeds, but they're not always weeds. The definition of a weed is a plant growing in a place where it shouldn't be growing. In this case, nettles aren't a weed. They're here in nature, enjoying, well, enjoying the space and helping to improve the soil. But in a garden bed, they're not very welcome because I'm trying to grow annual crops. And the same applies to say, you got a few tomato plants that have started sprouting up in one of your beds that shouldn't be there. Technically, they're a weed because they shouldn't be growing there. And you can treat those in the same way, whether you put them on the compost bin, for example, or chop and drop. But for the sake of simplicity with chop, move and drop, you're gonna be moving plants that we traditionally would call weeds, for example, this dock, into our garden to benefit it. And the other use of weeds is understanding the magic that happens when you add them into a bucket of water. And this is especially important, say if you're starting to clear your garden and you're pulling out weeds, uh, some more nettles here, but these, these have started uh, creating seeds. If I put this onto the compost bin, all I'm gonna end up doing when I eventually use that compost is spread nettle seeds all over the garden. I don't want that. So putting them in water allows you to utilize the nutrients of a weed, but in a way where you're not spreading the seeds and you can apply it in a different form. With weeds, when you soak them in water for a few weeks or a few months, you're extracting all of their nutrients and goodness. You're not gonna be spreading their seeds around, but you're also creating a form of nutrients to feed your plants a lot more rapidly in terms of nutrient access than spreading over compost, because in liquid form, they can go down to their roots really quickly. There's a couple of approaches for creating a liquid weed feed, which is the magic of placing weeds in water. The first is to do single type recipes. Very simply, this is my dock weed fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. All I've done is I've put dock and water in here. Bit of leaf mob, I'll come onto that after, but nothing else, and I just let it soak. The reason why you might want to go around just using a single type is if you're looking for a specific group of nutrients that you might need or your soil might be lacking. Dock's really high in potassium, for example. So this is creating a nice potassium liquid feed that I can use for, say, my tomatoes next year. The other way of going around making a liquid weed feed is to actually mix a load of different weeds together by creating more of a balanced or a multi-purpose feed. So instead of just making something, say, out of nettles, which has, yeah, a lot of calcium, but also a lot of nitrogen, and it's great for more kind of leafy growth, if you mix in things like dandelions and thistles, creeping thistle has a good amount of iron, and then you've got dock and everything else all mixed together, you're going to 
really quickly create a nice multi-purpose plant feed. You don't really need to know the nooks and crannies of the nutrient quantities of all of these different plants. If you just understand that there's strength and power in diversity, the same thing applies to creating a nutrient-rich liquid feed for your plants. Mix it up, have a load of things together, and it will really benefit. Just before I show you the recipe of creating the sweet feed, as well as how to apply it, if you feel that your garden is a bit overrun with weeds or you're feeling like it's getting to that stage, I wrote a blog post that I put on my blog over at hughesgarden.com last week about how to clear a garden full of weeds completely organically and then how to maintain a weed-free garden. There's a link down below. So to go about extracting the amazing nutrients from weeds, what you do need is a bucket or any form of similar container, which obviously needs to be leak proof. Then you need to go around and collect your chosen weeds, whether you're just gonna put in a load of thistles or you're gonna do a nice mix for more of a multi-purpose feed. Fill up the bucket with the weeds and then you want to actually add the water on top. Just enough water where you're covering all of the plant material and give it a bit of a stir. Now at this stage, you could also add a handful of leaf mold from under a nice big deciduous tree. This is a Jadam inspired technique. So what you're doing is you're grabbing the biology from under the tree and uh, you're adding it to the feed. So you're creating a bit of a biological feed as well, but it's also gonna help break down and extract the nutrients. Then once you've created it, you wanna put on a lid very loosely if the container comes with a lid. If not, just put over a slab or say a few planks of wood and leave it for at least two weeks up to kind of two months before you start using it. So after two weeks, you can start using your liquid feed. There's a couple of ways of going about it. I've strained this one just out of ease to show you. You can see the, the color there, for example. Now, what you can do is you can use a sieve so you can keep all of the plant bits away from the actual watering because what you want to do is you want to water it. And if you're using a watering can, you don't want to block up the rows with bits of plant material. So if you want to start using your weed feed after two weeks, what you want to do is you want to dilute roughly one parts feed to 10 parts water. There's a nice dilution ratio. We do this because if you put too strong of a, of a plant fertilizer or liquid fertilizer down, it can actually burn and damage the roots. You just want to make sure that it's suspended in a, in a load of water so it's nice and gentle on the plants and then you water. Now, if you've got something that's a lot older, maybe it's five or six months old, anything after that, you then reduce the dilution ratio to around one to 50, because it's gonna be a lot more potent. Apply this to the plants as just a little bit cautiously, see how they respond and adjust as necessary. But it's literally as easy as that to create your own free liquid plant feed using weeds to benefit your plants really quickly, to benefit your crops, to grow more food. That is the process. If you've got enough buckets, what you can do as you're starting to extract the liquid once it's being made, is just as the year continues, continue to top up the bucket with the same rough mix of weeds or the same certain type of weed or plant material and a bit more water. So as you're taking out the liquid, just keep on topping it up with a little bit extra goodness. So that means you're never taking away any of the solids. A lot of that's gonna break down into becoming a liquid, but it means you then have that dedicated bucket that is producing that really beneficial plant feed. If you live in a particularly cold climate, you might wanna consider bringing your buckets of weed feed undercover because if they're going to stay frozen solid for two or three months there's not going to be any breakdown so nothing's really going to be happening and now's a great time to harvest those nutrients to break down over winter to give you free plant feed to start using spring next year. So my channel is full of videos on how to save money and make the most of kind of waste materials and resources but some of you might not know that i have written three books my latest book for example the vegetable growers handbook is full of my absolute 
best tips for gardening. It goes into a lot more detail in terms of creating natural amendments and composting, for example, and how to grow basically whatever you want to grow. So like one reviewer said, this book is like gold dust. You can check it out yourself over at hughesgarden.com. And there are also signed copies available there as well. Also the Nature of Food book, written by my colleague Sam using produce from this garden, the photo of a, a leek grown in a bed just up there, is also available now over at hughesgarden.com. We're about to ship all of the Indiegogo crowdfunding orders, but if you're in the UK, you should also, through the website, be able to get them before Christmas. It's such a stunning book, you're gonna love it. One read that I haven't mentioned is grass. Not really fun to have in a raised bed, but if you've got a lawn or pathways, grass clippings are amazing for your garden. I've made a whole video which you can watch here. It's been really popular and it's how to use grass to help you grow more food. And it includes a grass specific liquid feed recipe. So check it out and enjoy.